Nearly every candidate who has lost a competitive election spends months reliving it, wondering what they could or should have done differently. In the final stretch, every mail piece, every ad, every video, every word you say can make a difference. That part of it you can control, but there are things you can't. Unexpected events that alter the political environment. A nasty broadside from your opponent you never saw coming. A filthy story about your past that leaves you on the defensive. In this video, some rules to live by that will give you a leg up in the final stretch, some of which should be done long before the final months of an election. Number one, know your opponent. In a competitive election, you should assume that your opponent will know more about you than you remember about yourself. It's called oppo research and it is standard practice. It falls on you to know everything you can find on your opponent. Every place they've lived, jobs they've held, every social media post, every public statement, their civil and criminal history, every lie they may have uttered. Number two, know your own weaknesses. You should also do oppo on yourself so that you know where you may be vulnerable. If you don't, it's hard to anticipate what your opponent may throw at you. You must also be honest with yourself. Even the slightest error in your past can be blown out of proportion. And if you face an unscrupulous opponent, entirely made up. Number three, create your rapid response team. You should have a team in place to help you handle predictable attacks and the unexpected. Someone to deal with the press. Someone who has studied every detail about your opponent. A social media guru. Someone to craft a response ad. The team you assemble may at some point hold your career in their hands. They need to be people you trust. Number four. Have your team war game. Before the final weeks of a campaign, lock your team in a room and have them war game the campaign. What are you going to say about your opponent? How do you expect your opponent to respond? What do you expect your opponent to say about you? How will you respond? It is an immensely valuable exercise, for if done well, you'll have a much better idea how to keep your campaign on offense and your opponent on defense during the period when persuadable voters are making up their minds. Number five, do practice drills. Smart military commanders do this ad nauseum when preparing for battle. Campaigns are paramilitary operations. Your team may have to expertly guide you through a rough patch while you're tied up on the campaign trail. The practice of responding to an assault from a nasty reporter or a blistering attack ad, or a blogger with no regard for truth, or even an accusation from someone you thought was a friend will enhance the acumen of your staff and vendors. Our democracy is going through a rough patch as Americans decide whether it will remain a democracy or become a religious theocracy. When stakes are high, the guardrails of civilized discourse are often broken. It doesn't mean you must, but you have to be prepared for an opponent who will. I'm Jay Townsend.